252 is the previous channel and we talked about we talked about this on the weekend update right this baby uh this baby channel baby macro channel it confirmed both legs of this big macro defense took out the 10-day moving average welcome to access a trader the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success profitability and longevity thank you for joining us here's dan shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to another edition of uh, the access trader.com uh nightly wrap-up show hope everybody is doing well hell of a day we'll talk about that in a second if you are uh brand new to the channel you can tell i'm just wiped out exhausted uh if you are brand new to the channel welcome aboard guys we really appreciate you stopping by spending 10 15 minutes of your day with us so we can uh, give you at least my point of view of what the market is doing on a day-to-day -day basis again i'm not in the prediction business i'm not in the guessing business i'm in the collection of data business and i trade off that data but if you are brand new guys uh welcome aboard you know welcome aboard um like subscribe uh share this channel it's a pretty cool niche uh situation that we have here and the most important part is we are unbiased and we tell it we take what the market gives us and that's the most important uh part so so if you if you watched uh the weekend update and that was all the way yesterday right if you watched the weekend update we talked about uh key levels right we talked about the key levels on the queues uh all you got to do is go one you know literally one uh video back one day back we talked about the upside the bulls needed to reclaim 36630s that obviously didn't happen and you know we talked about the numbers right we talked about 360 uh, on the queues that was the the bottom of the 10 day support so you have the five dollar uh, five day got rejected the 10 day support got broken down and we got right to uh the first measure potential move into the 357s uh you know could it stretch out one more day to 356 and a half yeah maybe it could uh we talked about in a video yesterday i gave every you know every single reason uh, why this thing was a pretty good must watch uh, for today's session, right? We talked about uh, a, a roundabout exhaustion cycle taking place. Uh, you have four days in a row of higher lows. Uh, it stopped at the 10 day moving average. We talked about the birth of the trade to the upside. Well, it's definitely the birth of the trade to the downside. And there was actually a small catalyst, right? Small catalyst was they already had their shareholder meeting and it was sold, right? Sold into the shareholders meeting. And today set up again, a 10 day break, which was absolutely phenomenal okay absolutely phenomenal and the last one we talked about was a little car company that's masquerading as a technology company and we said hey look watch out for tesla right keep an eye on it there's the bottom of the range here that if it starts going getting below the bottom of the range hey there's a shot this thing can pull this thing pulled guys anyway we'll talk about the pivots in a second hope everybody is uh doing well um, look, the, the overall macro point of the market is is very simple, okay? Uh, so we had this pretty big three-week run, okay? And we, once we started talking about the market is moving up too far, too fast, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, a testament to that's it. I'm calling for the top of the market. This is it. The market, I don't care what you buy, you're going to lose money in the market. How can you possibly buy? No, it wasn't any of that. We were just taking advantage of the exhaustion trade, right? Uh, the gravity trade and the stocks that had the biggest probability of a pullback are the ones that held red you know led this rally in the first place then the videos of the world the amds of the world the teslas of the world right those are the stocks that went parabolic so when you have a parabolic uh, equation playing out and you finally reach the exhaustion cycle all we had to do is wait for that exhaustion cycle to take out the previous day's channel and once it finally took out the previous day's channel well, this is exactly what's happening. We got a really, really great uh, three, four day decline uh, in the markets. And if you look at the queues, we, uh, we're pretty much sitting on this rising 20 day support. Again, this wasn't meant to be that, hey, I chose the top of the market. I called the top of the market. I'm the best. I'm the I'm nothing. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot, right? I'm a guy who just trades day to day uh, that accepts price action for what it is. I don't fight price action. I really, really believe and technical analysis and when you do believe in technical analysis and stop you know like getting getting out of this whole you get out of this whole social media mentality that you have to thank somebody for trades that you have to you know you have to revere somebody you put them on a pedestal 
it's all in front of you guys. It's, it, I promise you, nobody's pulling the strings. Uh, you know, there's no man sitting there behind the curtain. These are charts. We all have these charts. The difference between somebody training for 20 months or 20 years is they've been through the wars. They've been in the foxholes. They know exactly what happens if you put on your, of your, of your, uh, your visors, uh, your blinders, and you don't see what's happening. We had an exhaustion cycle. We had an intermediate breakdown. We had a rise of the 60-minute channels. We have a rise of, this, of the daily channels, and here we are today, right? So the question is going into tomorrow after all this happened today, or actually the last happened the last three, four days, well, what happens next? And, and that's kind of one of those scenarios that everybody has an opinion, everybody has a guess. I'm kind of on the fence going into tomorrow. You know, do I think there's a shot we get one more day down and kind of test this bottom channel here on the queues, roughly around the 356 area? Yeah, I, I, um, I think there's a shot there, right? I, I do. I think there's a shot there. Um, I, I do also believe that the fact that we came in such off high levels and are meeting such a uh, an aggressive area for a potential bounce, you know, it's also noteworthy to think, hey, if we get a gap up and we go red, then yeah, I do believe we'll test the bottom channel is where you have to be very, very careful for tomorrow. And this is kind of why I'm a little bit on the fence of what I think is going to happen tomorrow. The, the problem is if we gap down and for all you guys who are holding runners in the queues, Tesla and Nvidia, yeah, you want that, right? That's exactly what you want. But if you're not, you know, if you are not, if you're not short overnight and we get a gap down into rising support, just look at the last time we hit rising support. That was right over here. You see this? This is basically the same area, right? Uh, and the last time we hit rising support was May the 5th. And it gapped down. They reclaimed the macro support and they started rallying. It's turned into a really, really aggressive month rally. So it's one of those situations that if you're not long, excuse me, if you're not short overnight and they gap down the queues to this 356 level, Keep an eye on it because if the bulls can defend this 356 or if they can reclaim it after a further pull and start going green on the day, maybe we could get finally that snapback rally. But it's a very, very delicate situation here on the chart to kind of say, well, I definitely think the market's going to go this way or I definitely think the market's going to go that way. I think it's more of a situation that if you have your overnights, you have your runners and you get an extra push at the open on NVIDIA, Tesla, again, the Qs. Uh, then, yo, take your profits, right? Absolutely, take your profits. This was a phenomenal move, phenomenal day. Uh, you, I, I, you couldn't plan out it more. More important, uh, we talked about all three of these scenarios in last night's video. So it's not like something that I woke up this morning and go, hey, Tesla's a short, and the video's a short, the cues, if they start losing, this is short. Again, guys, always keep this in mind. 90% of your value, right? And that's a big, big word that we use. 90% of your value is always going to come on the previous nice research. So when I recorded the video on Sunday, Sunday morning, I already did the research two, three days in a row, and I already saw where my value is. It's very, very rare that you're going to wake up, open up, you know, you know, log into your system at 9.30 and say, well, where's the hot stock of the day? Yeah, it's, that's a retail way of trading. And as soon as the market starts going the wrong way, right? Next thing you know, you start seeing a whole bunch of, well, cash is a position. Yeah, cash is a position when you don't know how to trade on both sides. Of course, it's a position. Uh, but again, if you are a trader versus you are an investor, as we talk about in every single video, guys, you got to be prepared on both sides. Okay, you could be wrong. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. I'm wrong every single day in my thinking. Sometimes I'm not, but I'm wrong a lot. The key is don't be wrong. You could be wrong theoretically, just don't be wrong financially. And the point is, I, you know, I saw somebody... Uh, tweet out uh, during you know during the day, and they said, "Well, you know, despite this pullback, the you know the you know the market still is great, and only five or six stocks have taken us down today. So that's bullish." Well, I turn around, I go, "Well, wasn't the same argument on the way up that only five stocks was taking us higher?" And then look look where we are. So it's a little bit too early to say if this is the start of a really aggressive big topping out process that could spill over into July, or is this just an orderly pullback into the twenty day moving average? I guess tomorrow we'll see exactly who has control, uh, if possible, on this 356 level. And whoever has control, they could seize uh, that demand zone. I think we'll have a you know much more clarity to see uh, exactly what happens next. Sometimes, again, it's pretty clear to see what you think is going to happen the next day. Sometimes a little bit more, well, let's wait and see. Let the market do the heavy lifting for us and see exactly what happens next. And that's exactly uh, how I want to approach uh, tomorrow's day. So let's talk about today, right? Let's talk about today, guys. And again, if you are uh, if you are a, a brand new watcher of this channel, um, 
I trade beta, I trade technology or AKA the mega cap uh, stocks. I don't try to be right. I don't try to be perfect. Uh, I'm a human being. I'm doing this going on my 25th year. Uh, I've been doing this for a very, very long time, way too long, all, 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 half my life long time. Uh, but you know, I still get a kick of trying to figure things out that other people don't see. And the key is these channels, right? We're not guessing, we're not anticipating, we're waiting for these channels to develop. And when they do, and they match our thesis, they match our uh, synopsis of what we think is going to happen, it is pretty cool when they confirm uh, technically. So let's talk about it, right? Tesla, uh, 252 and 248, the key levels, if they build below, can flush. That's an understatement. Tesla, yeah, it built the below. I started shorting it uh, off that 252 breakdown, right? So 252 is the previous channel. And we talked about we talked about this on the weekend update, right? This baby, uh, this baby channel, baby macro channel. It confirmed both legs of this big macro defense. Took out the ten-day moving average, and, and now uh, the stock is trading a dollar. It's, it's trading at two forty. I, I think there's a shot we get to uh, two thirty-seven, two thirty-eight, maybe even tonight. Who the hell knows? By the time you're watching this broadcast right now, it's trading two forty after hours. Who knows? Tesla maybe gets to two thirty-seven, two thirty-eight. If that's the case. Uh, try to uh, try to uh, close out your position if you're short equity or if you're long puts, you might want to you know consider buying some equity against your position to kind of flatten yourself out. But either way, just an absolutely phenomenal move. 252, 240 trading uh, after hours right now. Really, really awesome. Uh, t uh, we talked about the queues, right? We talked about the queues on the nightly update. Again, nobody, guys, again, the market's not trying to trick you. Nobody's trying to trick you. This 360, right? 363. 30s to the upside, 360 to the downsides, right? We talked about these levels. These aren't, you know, nobody's, uh, you know, nobody's trying to surprise or or, or or put somebody in a situation they're they're caught off guard. So it took out the 360. I mean, just a beautiful move. You got another, you know, you got another two and a half point move uh, on the queues. Just phenomenal. Again, I, I think again this 360, 356 level uh, is going to be kind of the line in the sand for both the bull and bear. We'll see what exactly. Uh, what happens tomorrow. Uh, I was watching for Qualcomm below the 50-day moving average and never got there. Actually, it was green on the day. I was watching for SMCI to build below uh, 214, never got there. Uh, Chewy did, did nothing. Uh, Chewy did nothing. Went up like 20 cents. Uh, went up like 20 cents before it reversed. No, nothing there on Chewy. Uh, AUR never got to the 250 level. Mara never got the 1310. Congratulations, guys, for all you guys who took Coinbase. Uh, 62 uh, needs to build. Coinbase went nuts at the open. I didn't I didn't trade into Coinbase. I was waiting for NVIDIA. I was waiting for uh, Tesla. It turned out great, absolutely great. So uh, it confirmed the 62 and went to 66. So congratulations for all you guys uh, who, who uh, took Coinbase. I believe we talked about Coinbase uh, on the weekend update as well. And here's my whole point, guys. Here's my whole point of why we trade both sides of the channel. Don't fall in love with the stock. Fall in love with the channel. So on the video, we were watching for the upside, 428.10 if it reclaims the five-day. Obviously, that didn't happen. This was the absolute screaming move of the day. I thought, you know, Tesla, I actually, I'm, I'm going to say Tesla was uh, just because. Anyway, but 420 held twice. If it builds below, it can flush to the 10-day confirmation. Again, we talked about this on the weekend update. And NVIDIA just got destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Took out the 420 and went all the way down to 401. Just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal move. Congratulations, you guys who caught that. Uh, nice little scalp for us uh, in the beginning of the day. Uh, 131 needs to build uh, for Amazon. We caught a nice little cash flow move on it. Nothing crazy, but nice little move before rejected. Uh, MDB didn't confirm, TTD didn't confirm, ONN didn't confirm, this guy confirmed. Big shout out to Elon. If I could kiss you, I would. I think I could speak for a lot of us to say, hope to Godspeed you're around with us for a very, very uh, long time. And again, you know, everything's just going nuts. Uh, Q's just, just, just absolutely. So I went out to lunch and I said, do I really need to come back today? All right. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes, but awesome. Absolutely awesome. So uh, look, there's days to press when you have your, your your setups, when you have everything play out, lined up perfectly and everything confirms. Those are brilliant days. Those are wonderful days. Uh, unfortunately, everything else in the market, you have to be really, really patient. You have to grind it out. Some days you're going to get no value. Some days you're going to get a lot of value. But the key is to make it to the next day. And if you are a brand new trader and you're this is your first dive of technical analysis, hey, listen, if you want to come uh, to the webinar, let me you know introduce you to the wonderful world of pivots. We're the only people on the planet who trade in this matter. I I, I developed the PS60 theory. 
in 2012. This is going on our, what, 11th, 12th year trading the pivots out of the 24, going on 25 that I'm trading. It's pretty cool. Uh, the key is it's very, very patient. Uh, it's very methodical, but the key is you are trading alongside with institutional capital because they're making the bets in the options market in that direction. And when they do confirm, it really is a pretty cool thing. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are coming aboard uh, and going to be in the webinar, welcome. And I will look forward to working with you. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow.